This is the bar we're before and this is the bar we're Ashby. And in this video, I will compare them both. In this video I will tell you about differences between Barbour Ashby and Classic Before. I own them both, so I think I can give you my honest perspective on both jackets. So what's the main differences between Barbour Before and Barbour Ashby? Please note that I am comparing Classic Before, not the regular. They are a bit different. Watch this video where I am explaining these differences. Maybe I should have compared Ashby to Bideo because it's sort of a more modern version of the classic jacket, but I could not get proper fit for me with Bedale, so I settled with Beaufort long time ago and now Ashby is my another Vox jacket from Barber. In short, if you want heritage feel and look, go with Beaufort. If you want a modern fit, go with Ashby. I will start with the most prominent differences. Style and design. You are getting the modern fit with Ashby versus more generous fit with Beaufort. Ashby has more tailored and slimmer fit. Before is also longer. Ashby length is between Bedeo and Before. Ashby has no back pocket like the one the Before has. Ashby has a longer sleeves for those who like them to be longer. Because classic barber jackets they known for their shorter sleeves. Sleeves are tend to be shorter with classic barber jackets so Ashby gives you option with kinda regular sleeves length. Colors. You get more color option with Ashby versus only olive color with classic before. If you want classic, the regular before has more color choices. In any case, stay clear of the black color. It is a dust collector. Features. So both jackets are with four front exterior pockets and one interior. Before, as I mentioned, has a huge back pocket, which Ashby doesn't have. I like the before interior pocket much better than the one with Ashby because Ashby is not comfortable for me and it has this walker safety lock which I don't like at all and the before's interior pocket has a zipper and it's really easy to use. I like to put my phone inside the pocket and you don't have to unzip your coat in order to put something in this interior pocket which I really like to use for my phone. Cuffs design is different with Ashby you have a corduroy lined sleeves partially with before you have this rain protection uh, feature with velcro. Both jackets top exterior pockets with a warm lining. Where the jackets are made. If this is something that you care about, Buffer is still made in England versus Ashby is not made in England anymore. The jacket that I have is made in Moldova. The materials. Both jackets are made with the same exterior wax cotton and the interior is also 100% cotton. The only difference is that the sleeves in Ashby are made in polyester and some people say that it makes them sweaty. I haven't felt it yet to be honest, but I can see why it could be an issue for some people. Another interesting point that Ashby models are more likely to be found on sale. From my experience the Ashby size is true to size, at least I got my regular size and it fits me very well. With before it could be a little bit tricky because of its overall generous fit. So in the conclusion I can say that both jackets are really nice. If you want to buy a Vox jacket but you're looking for something more modern, sleek and with more tailored fit, you can go with Ashby. If you're looking for something more vintage, heritage style, and if you want your feet to be roomier, then go with Beaufort. Let me know in the comments which jacket would you choose and why. I hope this video was helpful for you. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. I will see you next time. Bye now and take care.